Welcome back to episode 11 of Trials Talk podcast. Um, been a while since we've done one of these, so welcome back, Matt, and welcome to Alice Minta on for the first time. So don't be shy, just shout out. Alice, if you've anything to say, just, just blurt it out. A um, few things to talk about in this one. We've got a roundup of the Trial GP World Championship, a roundup of the last few British rounds, um, Andorra La Vea Indoor X Trial and obviously the Scott Trial which took place last weekend so um, we'll start off with the Trial GP Championship which I suppose Trial GP class ended up it started out the season quite good but ended up quite predictable really didn't it, it sort of I don't know Jaime kind of lost his way sort of three yeah. quarters through the season didn't he yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, it was sort of, in my head, it was always sort of inevitable that it was going to turn into a Tony Bow show like it always sort of does. Um, but yeah, no, Jaime got off to a blinder of a start, didn't he? And like you say, it sort of seemed to peter off a bit. But um, yeah, I don't know. I suppose he's the only one that's really got the answers for <laughs> what went on there. But Yeah, and it was good because, I mean, for the first few rounds, it was... Tony won one day. It was, I think it was you. He usually won on the Saturday, and then Jaime came back on the Sunday, and it kind of did make it a bit interesting for a while. But mm. then Tony's just, he just like mentally annihilates people, I think. He just, he's just so strong, isn't he? But anyway, right. So Busto ended up second in the championship. Uh, Marcelli, good ride for third. That I think was- sometimes. Third place is always like the more interesting one because you never know who's going to be third. Yeah. Like, it's always like usually first and second for them is always predictable. But then third, obviously, it can be anyone these days. Yeah. Um, and there was a few that potentially could have got that. I mean, if if Granarola had started the season on a beta, um, he might have been in the run. <laughs> he might have been in the running for it. Um, but yeah, Marcelli, he he had a good strong finish this season and sort of rattled that out quite well, I thought. Unfortunately. He's written well this year, hasn't he? Um he's had a couple of hit and miss results, but he he's been there or there about Yeah, year, he's right? definitely he's... up to consistency. I think there is yeah. been there been there or thereabouts previously, but this year he was more kind of consistently mm. on the podium. Um bit unfortunate for Adam obviously missing around and whatever, but um yeah yeah he's just sort of thinking of the bigger picture i guess really um he's of the age now that his body's important and he needs his body to be good to perform and ultimately if that's what's holding him back he's gonna he's gonna sort of prioritize getting sorted isn't he? i guess yeah um yeah i know getting old is is bad like it's really bad <laughs> i know the feeling mate I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm aged. My body's certainly older than my brain is. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm. Uh, I just I I turned forty nine at the start of September, and I. I don't know where that went. Where'd that go? I'm not forty nine. Forty nine. You're saying that, and I'm dreading turning twenty. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, well, actually, I remember twenty twenty. I think was the worst. The worst one because you're not a teenager anymore. Exactly. It was said, yeah. Like you know, like when you turn nineteen, you're not eighteen anymore. And like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But twenty, yeah, it's where you, you kind of feel more adult when you're twenty. <laughs> anyway, right, we're digressing. Trial two, the most exciting championship in the world oh. ever. Always oh, is. Um, yeah. I mean, really felt for Jack Peace because. He just had a crap weekend when he really didn't need a crap weekend. Yeah, uh, it just seemed from this. I mean, I didn't say I didn't obviously because the trial GP, the live footage doesn't show trial two. Um, you can only really watch the live scores, and it kind of just looked like one of those weekends where it didn't matter what he tried, it just wasn't happening. Yeah, um, I think we, we being being with the women and be, being like in in the way that they've done it this year we see quite a lot of like the back end of the trial too so your front runners and and to be like like you say jack just couldn't do wrong for doing right it was just it everything he tried like you say he was just going wrong on the kid and it was just like to watch it watch it sort of unfold on him you were sort of section by section you were just getting more and more gutted for him because he was like you say he was he needed a good one and it just wasn't happening 
Um, yeah, but then again, then again, still amazing to see a Brit obviously win the championship and absolutely. Um, and Billy has ridden his socks off all year. Um, and I think, to be honest, I think anyone in that, anyone <laughs> in that class, anyone in that class that is good enough to win multiple rounds deserves the championship, in my opinion, because y- you've. Yeah, it's so competitive. It's arguably more competitive than than any other of the classes. Oh, totally, totally. So, um, yeah, your your teammate Alice pulled it pulled it out the bag at the like at the eleventh hour. It was unbelievable watching this. Like yeah. I say, you know, they, they don't show the trial too, so you can just watch the scores. And then this the live scores stopped working, and you're I was like, oh, what's going on? But yeah, brilliant to see. Brilliant to see Billy being able to yeah. get it over the line well, in the end. We were still riding, so we had no idea who had won or what had happened. And then I, I walked back to the tent and all I saw was his front wheel, like in bits. I was like, you haven't crashed, have you? You haven't blown it. And he said, no, I've won. And I was like, how have you won with that front wheel? It was yeah. just in bits, honestly. It was, yeah. Well, did he do that dropping out the last section, was it? Yeah, so it was like halfway through the section, he'd actually done it. They yes. had to jump off like these blocks. Yeah, it was like three or four blocks. high. Yeah. And then they went round the back and went up some steps, dropped off and went up some more steps. So we'd done it quite early on in the section to actually so t- to be able to actually ride out of the section, I thought was like pretty pretty good to be honest. Yeah, yeah fair play. It definitely tried buckling on him a few times. <laughs> yeah, I would yeah. It I saw a picture of it, it looked pretty bad. It was absolutely knackered. <laughs> there was nothing think, left of it. I think the uh, the factory said they wanted to to take it to the um like to the factory and frame it, not frame it, but put it in the their little I don't know what they call it trophy cabinet showroom or something. Yeah, yeah. something yeah. like that. It's yeah. not the kind of thing you'd want to show, though, is it? Really, you wouldn't. Have thought. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know. Our bike's so good, we can win a world championship with a front wheel like this. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, might be a market employee. Um, yeah, I mean, trial, as you say, um, Matt, trial two this year, particularly for British riders, has been pretty good. Uh, we've had yeah. three three different winners, uh, four different podium finishers. Uh, yeah. And even, I mean, like, in the end, um, Harry Hemo was seventh in the championship, Jack Dance with two wins, ninth. And yeah. Harry Turner came in seventeenth. Now I know Ollie Smith and stuff were riding as well, but you know mm. it's brilliant to see so much British talent. Obviously, yeah, and lads in the points as well, and pushing, pushing for those high places. I mean, mm-hmm. it's it's difficult, isn't it? Because I mean, you you look at the you look at the scores, and like sometimes a two can knock you ten places. Like it's it is obscene how close it is. Yeah. Um, and and like you're saying, it's 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 hard, isn't it? Because you see, you know the lads, and you speak to them, and and whatever, and and like they'll be like, oh, I've had a crap day today. This three's done me for like six places or whatever, and it's just shows like being in the points isn't necessarily a true representation of how well you're riding because you can ride awesome in fourteen sections, for example, and and do you know what I mean? That last one's just done you in, but it's yeah, it's. Like the the level of talent we've got coming out of this country is is yeah, next good, level. Good to see, and lads are grafting for it as well, which is nice as well. Do you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all good. Good evening, Hugo. Sorry, good evening. We we had we just started without you. Sorry, mate. No, carry on. <laughs> right, we've just we've literally just um, discussed the the finish of the trial two world championship there, so that's kind of where where we've got to. Um, just sort of saying how good it is to see, obviously, so many British winners in that class this year, and and a good level, good level of. I, I'm reckoning probably Harry Hemingway has got to be favourite for that next year. Is that yeah? You know, I mean, tumbleweed moment there. Nobody's like nobody's <laughs> agreeing with me. It's hard to <laughs> it's hard to cut. It's an it's an impossible thing to call, isn't it? Because I mean, like like we've just sort of said, like. They're all over the place, and as much as I'd I'd love to see another Brit win it and whatever, you just you've got Pablo. I don't know what he's doing next year. I presume he'll be staying down in trial two. Um, 
there's so many strong lads, it's just impossible to call it. I just, I th- in my opinion. It does say, yeah, who's going up for anything like that, doesn't it, as well? Yeah. Well, I mean, Sandra Haggis stayed down this year to try and win it again for Gas Gas, and that didn't really go to plan, did it? So, no. I was yeah. just going to say that as an example. You see, you win it one year and you come down, and then it's very, like, very unlikely you'll do, like, do it again, at least. Yeah. 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 You're going to have a fairly big target on your back, too, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Um, so, we'll go on to trial GP women then. Obviously, brilliant. Emma knocked it out of the park. Um, what's that, her ninth? World Championship. Um, enough said about that, really. You can't really... I mean, it was just... Other than a shaky start at the first round. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> everything else. Formidable. Well, it's a bit like Tony, isn't she, by now? Yeah, 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 totally. Mm. Totally. Brilliant to see. And you've managed to... You've been, like... You started the season, didn't you, Alice, with going out to Spain with her for... How long were you out there for, practising? Uh, we were over for just over, uh, just under two months. Sorry, I think it was January and then January and then like nearly February as well. Not quite. Right. So you've seen firsthand like what she's capable of. I don't think I might be a little bit controversial saying this, but I don't think the trial GP or the GP women sections kind of show off her talent maybe as well as they could. But oh uh, yeah, hundred percent. I agree. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's 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 one of those like sometimes you'll get some really good sections and then others are just like, oh, this should just be in like trial two women. Why are we riding it? But at the end of the day, they've got to cater for everybody. So I suppose just trying to find that balance. Yeah, I just to be honest, I just said on the whole, I just said if you were gonna sort of average it out, I just said that our sections have definitely been harder this year than what they have been previously. Previous years, yeah, yeah. Um, but I know exactly what you mean. Like, at times, you look at the sections and go, well, fair play, like they've actually sent us up something today and then <laughs> yeah. you get to the next <laughs> section and it is the same as the trial two women sections or or whatever. But um, Yeah, you end up riding around anything that looks like a section. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not that I would be riding it anyway, but I mean that's just for a world championship. It just that's just what I think anyway. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay. So trial three again, British talent in abundance. Um, G Man obviously um, wrapping that one up. Um, Jonas Sandvik was second. Jamie Galloway third, and Alfie Lampkin fourth. So again, looking pretty, pretty good there for future i don't know what those guys are doing uh in the episode i did with the hemos i think dan said george is staying down for another season um i don't know what jamie's gonna do i'm imagining he'll probably move up but yeah i mean I've, i don't think no I, no one's really been that vocal about what they're planning for next year um i certainly think people will be some people will be moving up um but yeah, I'd, I'd also heard that George was going to stay down. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure Dan, Dan said, yeah, yeah. Well, sorry, Hugo, you forget how young George is, don't you, as well, to, to move up to trial two. It's quite a big exactly. thing, exactly. Yeah, you sort of do have to just take a step back and remember that, don't you? Because he, he is phenomenally talented for the age that he is, yeah. Um, right. Trial or sorry, women two. Um, we'd only really one girl in that, which was Sophie Bailey, and she managed to pull out an eighth place in the championship there in the end. So, and that's she's coming back from a knee injury or something, didn't she? Injure her knee. I can't remember if it was early this year or end of last year or something, didn't she? Yeah, she did her ACL as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You you've done that as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, not so good. Right. Okay. That's enough, I think, a trial GP. British Championship. Um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, anyway, British Championship. Um, trial GB. Um, Jack Peace. Obviously, okay, everybody's going to say, well, Toby Martin wasn't riding, but still, you've got to still 
pull out the bag and you've still got to win trials and do all that. So I think that was well deserved. Um, it's not as if he hasn't been knock knocking at the door for a good few years there, Jack. So, um, and it was it was good to see somebody like genuinely over the moon, um, mm. at winning the chase. He's quite usually quite a quiet lad, but um, at Rock and Hop there, he, he actually had a smile on his face, which was terrific. <laughs> um, I like Jack. I I think he's I think he's I think he's brilliant. Actually, I, I we get on with quite well, but um, so. Uh, unbelievably, Billy Green managed to win. I, I couldn't believe it was only his first British Championship win in the top class this year. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, it's hard to believe, isn't it? It sort of seemed, yeah. But anyway, so again, there's those guys have all been pushing all year long. Harry then obviously wins the last round of the Championship to get his first um, British Championship win. Toby came back and won one. So it was all, I think it's going to be a really tight championship next year. Yeah, it yeah. could be anyone's game really, couldn't it? Yeah. It's good, to, it's good to see it becoming tighter like that as well. Like a few more people in that class rather than when it was down to like four and stuff like that. Makes mm. it more of a championship, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know who is going to take over from Brian there. Rumour has it, it might be a group of people, not just one person. Um, they didn't pick me, unfortunately. <laughs> that was probably fairly predictable. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, right, British Championship trial two. Hugo, give us a rundown. Rundown for what? What? Do... How did Who's... you get on? How did the season go? She's started off, yeah, not bad. Sort of picked up pace in the middle. I was had some real good. Results felt like I sort of sorted my head out a bit. I don't know in in the trials, just approached everything a bit more calmly, a bit differently, and then just didn't really get on with the last the last event at all. I had a bit of a poor end then, but pretty happy to be fifth overall in that championship. So yeah, again, yeah. as we said about the trial to the world championship, it's a pretty competitive, pretty yeah. competitive class, and a handful of marks can drop you. Yeah, more than a handful of places. So, yeah, fair play. It's hard to handle. Like sometimes you just you know that one silly mistake and you you sort of blown your day really. But that's what makes it so good as well. That's kind of what. Well, I'm going to say that's kind of what you want, but maybe not. But um, when you've got that, no, but when you've got that level of competition. I think you, you you tend to raise. You try to raise your. You have to raise your game. You sort of. You've, yeah. It sort of yeah, sort of spurs you on a bit. It's brought back a bit of like the competitiveness to me. I've, but what everyone can see from the outside, it is so tight. It sort of makes you a bit more like driven, driven in the in the events, I suppose. Because it's so close, and you know that every, every mark matters. It makes you fight for it a bit more. Yeah, and that's kind of I don't know. Maybe that's kind of what I was getting at with the trial GP yeah. women. I think if you've if you've got kind of um, a level of section that you feel you can kind of really get stuck into. I always think that's better than a little section that you're riding around going, frig, I can't have a slack dab here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's that's like me all over. I'd rather do something, you know, that's I might have a, a dab on going up that rock there rather than having a little dab going around mm. around a little rock, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Because we had we had a trial like that here last week and it was like I fived the first section and I'm like oh, that's never good, is it? Don't no, happen. but I thought. Well, no, I know, I know the venue. It's never a good start. No, it's not, is it? But it kind of, it kind of <laughs> settled me a wee bit, and I knew the venue, and I knew what the rest of the trial was probably going to be like, and I thought, well, it's not. I know I can pull it back, so I wasn't too, wasn't too worried. Mm. About it. Uh, but anyway, right, we're digressing again. It's always, it's always better when a, a trial's there to be won rather than there to be lost, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That's. Yeah, I must remember that phrase. That's that's a that's a good one. That I like that one here. Exactly. Did you have that one written down? Did you? you <laughs> saving that? No, it's just uh, me and like me and Dad always say that to each other for some reason. But like, it's annoying when it's there to your mistake to lose it for you rather than win it. Isn't it? Yeah, there's nothing that's stolen it. now. That's it. Russ is gonna have some white <laughs> duct tape with, written on his <laughs> That's it. Yeah, for Scotland. 
Yeah, that'll not apply to me in Scotland, don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I did have the British Championship results in front of me here a minute ago, so let me see if I can find them again. Um, yeah, so G-Man, again, like, unbelievable, one trial, two. Um, James Fry had a couple of good runs there at the end of the season. Um, we'll just go through the top, and then it was Ollie Smith and Jamie Galloway, and then Hugo. Um, so trial one, two, five, um, Harrison Skelton, have to say, over the course of the season, I was really impressed by it. Harrison. He's, he's a really gutsy little rider. Mm. He's not afraid of anything, is he? He just, like, yeah. no, <laughs> he just gets stuck in. <laughs> he? He, he just wants to hit everything. Like, yeah. He's not, he, he is not afraid. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think that showed, actually. I think that's probably, because I think it came down to the last round and basically whoever, there was the, those three going at it all year. And I think it ended up pretty much whoever won the trial won the won the series. Yeah. Very, very close to that, mm -hmm. anyway. Um, and, yeah, I think his sort of, that sort of approach that he has just really probably suited the venue as well at that last event. Um and yeah, he, he sort of just he knocked it out of the park, actually. Um, he had a really good ride. So well done, Harrison, on that one. Well, well done to them all, actually, because they really um it's a bit of a step up from anything they'd have been used to in the in the in the youth categories, too. Um expert class then, old faithful there, Dan Thorpe, um, from Brad from Emma, which is I think that's pretty impressive too isn't it to be third in that expert championship mm. um, and that doing. was what was her best finish fourth third she was third third she had third yeah she podiumed in the yeah. in the penultimate round that's right um, yeah that's that's pretty damn good where did you end up Alice oh I, I there's no point looking for me okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think I got in the points a couple of times, so I yeah. was happy well, with that. I tell you what, that's still even no mean feat, is it? Yeah, because there's a lot of good riders in there, like a lot of old old names that flipping were riding when I was riding too. Um, Joe Baker, he's in there. I saw another one, Ashley Newbury. My God, Ashley Newbury! I remember riding British Championships with him in the late nineties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it makes you feel any better I wasn't born then <laughs> yeah no no yeah don't even go there um, 31st Alice oh. <laughs> how many how many like total entries are there in that Russell if, if you've got it there or, like, point uh, I don't know I don't know about total entries but point scorers there were I'm going to make Alice look bad here, but there were 31 <laughs> point scorers. Yeah. But that's not that's that's not fair actually because there was no. four people tied on the same number of points. So, I was wondering um, how, how many different people got in the points across across every round. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Th well, there was yeah. What does that work out? Uh, 31, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, <clears throat> 33 point scorers. Not, not everybody does the championship, do they? No. So, You'll have someone. Oh. Oh. There you are. Oh, that's cruel. Cut off that's, on Prime. That's not oh. what I was thinking. It certainly shows how many people do their local round and they're like good riders in it. And it, it's hard to do well in that championship. Yeah, though. but there's also there's also the guys there um, that do every round and don't never score a point. Yeah. You know, too. So I think what, what average entry in that class is about 40 or 45 or something like that. So. It's yeah. been really well attended this year, hasn't it? The mm -hmm. expert yeah. class. Yeah. It's always the busiest class, isn't it? But every every round this year, there's been a really strong entry with the experts. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. well good to see. Yeah, it's mm. good to see. And I think that's just, well, I mean, we've talked about it on the channel before. I think that's just off the back of, it's been well promoted. The the mm. the format is good. And it's sort of make, it's it's making people want to ride it again. The, the British Championship was kind of in the doldrums there for a wee while. So, yeah. Um, but I mean, and that's all Brian Higgins sort of doing and, and what he's sort of set up there. So, fingers crossed, he's pretty big yeah. shoes to fill for whoever's 
whoever or or however many people they get to do that. In the yeah, mm. um, I said it already, but fair play and like a thank you to to Brian and Di and them as well for for doing a good job over the past few years. Yeah, it's funny really I said. Helpful. I said to him at that last round, it'd be quite interesting to get him on and have a bit of a chat with him because there's loads of other stuff that he does. Um, mm. It's not just... He says he listens just... as well, so or watches, so... Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, he, got, yeah, he said that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, he gave me he gave me his um, his email address and stuff there, so I'll, I'll maybe drop him a wee message and see if he would come on for one. It'd be, it'd be mm. interesting to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, wouldn't it? Right, we've... That's us about halfway through, so we'll, we'll take a quick break there. Um, what, what's next? Uh, X Trial Andorra. Did anybody watch it? I was raging. It started at like five o'clock. I watched it. Did you? It was earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, it was really, it was really early. And I came back from the trial. I was just talking, just said about there, and I thought, right, all the muck and everything on the bike still really wet. So I'll just, I'll, I'll be really good, and I'll wash it all off while it's still easy to get off, and I'll do all that, and, I, and then yeah. sit down, have have my dinner, and watch the extra. I flip and come in from doing all that. The bloody X. I saw all I saw was the last <laughs> through the fi- last section in the final. I was raging, so I had to watch it. I had to watch it last night on a replay, so as I could actually talk about it. Um, but it was it was kind of just predictable, wasn't it? Again, really followed the same sort of script, didn't it? Really? Yeah, I mean. Busta I think has had a good ride to, to start with, didn't he? But yeah, that's what I was about to say. Busta went out first lap when Ryan from mm. Tony was on four, I think. Mm. Um, and you're thinking, oh yeah, this is this is something exciting's gonna happen here. But yeah. Lap two was like normal service resumed. Mm. Which is kind of getting a bit boring. What do you think? This is a bit of a, a, a a bit of a tangent, but what do you think of that helmet Tony's wearing at the minute, with the like the diamonds or something on it? I mean, oh, I, it's a bit much, isn't it? <sighs> really? The class accessories helmet, I quite like. Claire's <laughs> <laughs> accessories. <laughs> What's Claire's accessories? Oh, I don't know, mate. Matt, not you, good. Know, you know all about that. Wouldn't Never you? been. <laughs> oh no, I get I get all my earrings and stuff from them and nipple piercings and that. <laughs> um, I was thinking a bit more Argento, but uh, <laughs> yeah, or what's the other one? Pandora, yeah, that's the one. Oh, it's too up market for me. Like Very that, fancy, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it, it, <laughs> but I mean, it's a bit much, isn't it? I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't. I so. know. At the same time, if I'd got as many world titles as him, I, I'd have a fancy helmet. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Maybe. You can look at it. Don't don't matter, does it? Everyone no. just wishes it were you at this point, so it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, there is that. You can do what you want with the number one on, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Um, we we did mention this earlier about Marcelli, um, or Marseille, or however you pronounce that name. Um, <laughs> we've uh, we've had this we've had this discussion before, haven't we? Yeah. Um, Still just as annoying. Yeah. Um, looking quite buff. I mean, he's. He's obviously been in the gym. Yeah, he's a beast, isn't he? Isn't he? He's a bit. Oh, he's a bit like a mini Tony, isn't he? Now, he not has... that many, but yeah, he ha- he has become uh, he has become that. The other thing, which was talking about just strength, um, which uh, you might have seen it. I think somebody put it on Instagram. Toby Martin. There was a section, and it was like. Really steep A frame and then a bigger A frame coming and off up and he's oh, done. Yeah, did you that see was it? Impressive. How yeah. how did he do that? I don't know. I did idea. not go over the handlebars. I messaged him about it and just said, like, that was the most impressive thing I saw all night. And he just said, Got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's un- I mean, unbelievable. If you'd paused that halfway through and like put a you know what happens next? Yeah, yeah, what happens yeah. next? Crash or yeah, on two wheels. It was never two wheels. It was no. never two wheels. Uh, it was quite yeah. impressive. I think it was Steve Colley actually shared it saying how the did he do that? Um and he's had a few ropey moments in indoors as well, Steve Colley. He was he was brilliant at them. I've seen some um, of them videos, yeah. Yeah. Um 
Yeah, so it all kind of went a bit to script um, after round one. Do you do you think the the format of the X trials almost lends itself to follow it like lends 100%. itself to the same script, doesn't it? With the, the top three go into the final, then the better you do, the later off you go in in the final. It's just like it's all geared up for no upsets, isn't it? Really? Yeah, there's not really, there's not really. Oh, Alice looks like she's getting back in. Um, there's not really any jeopardy to it. Hey. Welcome back. I don't really know what happened then, but we're back. <laughs> Neither do we. You just, you just disappeared like that. It was just like, nah, I'm sick talking to these guys. Right, that's enough. Um, we we are discussing X Trial Andorra. I don't know if you've seen it or not. Yeah, I saw a, a bit of it. Not all right, okay. not all of it, but um, we were sort of saying it. It looked like it was going to be interesting after the first round, whenever Busto was only down one, but then it kind of just went through to form after that. Highlight of the evening for myself and Hugo was Toby not going over the bars. I don't know if you've seen that clip somehow. Yeah, that was a, a good <laughs> good save. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> I, I yeah, we 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 have no idea, no clue how he managed to do that. Um, yes, there's as you were saying, Hugo, the way it's set up, it kind of as the rounds go on, the cream still sort of rises to the top, doesn't it? And mm. it sort of it. I wouldn't say it disadvantages maybe the the guys who are just starting out, but it doesn't. I think. I don't know. I think they just need to reverse the order and just be done. Mm, yeah. Well, I, I feel like to a point, until you've got a bigger entry in them trials, you're always going to get the same result. Or not mm. the same result, but a very similar result. Do you know what I mean? If you've only got yeah. a couple, if you've got one wild card in each and, and you stick it, like, for example, like I saw in in Billy's round, it was up against Gratta and Aniol. Yeah. And it's like, Give the kid, give the kid a chance. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's but ultimately, I feel like you could have, you could put him with anyone, and it's still. Don't get me wrong. It's an amazing opportunity to be there. Yeah. But they, it's a slightly. They sort of just throw you in the lines then and just go about best yeah. of luck, mate. Like, like just... And it's if you're that wild card, you could only get to do like one or two in a year, and you're never going to get into that swing yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that too because there's a lot of sections are quite similar from round to round so you're bound to sort of get into the way of riding mm. not only that obviously you're going to get more um, used to the atmosphere and everything else um, yeah. it's obviously very different if you've never been in that situation before mm. um, but yeah I can only imagine Billy was probably a little bit nervous going out first <laughs> In your yeah. first, in your first so, round. So, I mean, why, you know, at least ballot the first round or something to put a mm. bit of jeopardy into it. Yeah. Um, they need to bring qualifying. That was the best thing in world rounds. Qualifying was brilliant. The yeah. dual lane races. That, that was my favourite. In the, I did it for my first year and yeah. I loved it. Yeah. yeah, it was wicked, yeah. And like in the indoors, like Sheffield and stuff, they have the Two dual lane races, then they like knock out knockouts and things. Yeah. yeah, yeah, all adds all adds to the show as well. Um, so have you got your invite for Barcelona, Alice? Um, not yet, but no. I don't know. It, it could be coming. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like a hint that does. Yeah, uh, I don't please know. They, they usually please invite me. Yeah. Please <laughs> 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 It's usually top five women, and obviously I was fifth. So, I mean, I should yeah. be there, but whether I am or not, I don't know. We'll have to yeah, wait unless they can, unless I they can do. sneakily slip another Spaniard in there or something. Yeah, probably. Or no, it's yeah. all organised by French. It'll be a French girl goes in there or something. Just don't do a Naomi Monnier. Just don't do that. <laughs> Why? What happened? Yeah. She went over the bars on like yeah. doing a wheelie. Well, she, you she know tried. when you, you go round. Yeah. She did an endo and went over the bars <laughs> right at the start. Yeah, it wasn't a good start. 
she was actually completely under the bike too, flipping, yeah. no, grabbed a rope and come running out from behind the curtain to pick the bike off her. It was uber embarrassing. I mean, it is definitely something that I would do, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be, Alice. In fact, Hugo, was it you who passed me? Yeah. I and I decked it on the floor but... in front of you. <laughs> Is this? I wasn't sure if you've got Scott trial chat. Is it me or not? Yeah. This this was from the Scott. Yeah. Right. Well, that brings us nicely on because we're gonna obviously right. We'll 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 finish off X trial Andorra. Tony won. There you go. Brilliant. That's it. Um. <laughs> so Scott trial much more interesting. Um. Carry on. What were you saying there? <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know whereabouts we were. Where were we, Hugo? Oh, I can't. Your it was on. It was uh, like the second half of Grouse, basically. Grouse, I can't remember what it's called. It's like it's almost like Grand Canyon, but somewhere else. Yeah. And we right. were coming back down, like on this Maury bit. There's a bit of a bog coming. I I clocked it was you quite early. I shouted, "Oh, watch your back, Alice," or something. And then all of a sudden, that was you were <laughs> upside down. <laughs> it was like this bog on a on a turn, and my front wheel just washed, and I went flying that direction. My bike was this direction, and then Hugo just comes flying past me. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't you even laughing. stop. You didn't even stop to help. No, oh, she was laughing, not. so maybe oh, that's, all right. that's fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Touch like, wood, that was like my only crash. So, I'll take and it that. was one of the highlights of my day, Alice. So. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, that's the best. I think that's the best thing about mm. those type of trials of Scott and Scottish and all those like, yeah, uh, all the little stories that you get and you see some funny things like, um, right. You did pretty well, didn't you, Alice? Yeah, my time thought, was good. My observation yeah. was a bit iffy, but I wasn't too bothered, if I'm being honest. Time was decent, wasn't to... it? Yeah. I think you... I was I was rushing a bit. Like, I just wanted to get round, and I wasn't yeah. stopping and thinking as probably as much as what I should have been. But I do think the sections were a lot harder this year compared to last year. Pretty much everyone said that, yeah. I thought, I thought they were as well. But, yeah, we got round and we had fun, so... That's the main part. How yeah. many? How many did you have on time? Um, a hundred and three, I think. I could be wrong. And then my observation was like a hundred and eighty. Mm. It was stupidly mm. high. Yeah, but... but nobody really cares about observation. <laughs> you got finished. <laughs> it's an enjoyment on Charles bikes, isn't it? That's all. The, yeah. That's yeah. All anyone, yeah. Everyone yeah. wants to just be fastest man. Winning's good, but everyone wants to be the fastest man. <laughs> so... <laughs> First man back. <laughs> All first man back, yeah, exactly. That's it. Nothing matters after that. Um, <laughs> I don't need to worry about that. that it'll then. never happen. Unless I'm in a van, maybe. <laughs> um, so... Uh, don't get far on the moors in a van, Russ. No, it's not great. It's not great. <laughs> I tried it before. It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, who won? Jack Price. Oh, I see. Jack Price. That's right. Mm. Third time in a row for him. Yeah. Mm. Um, which I suppose he kind of deserved it a bit, maybe because he had a few near misses. I seem to recall he ran, he, he boiled the bike one year. I think it was the last yeah. year. Yeah. Coming was up there. the last field. So Coming up the last field. Yeah. Mm. Um, speaking of which, obviously, Billy ran out of fuel, which probably yeah. cost him a shot at victory because I think he pushed it for three quarters of a mile, did somebody say? It's from like yeah. the last set of trees you come through, which is like, it's, you've still got to go through a field and then yeah. up the, up the, the end field. field. So yeah, oh, is it that little, push it from there. That little bunch of trees that you go yeah, through. Yeah, from there. Right. So that's a fair push then. I suppose, and at the end of the day too. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't have been in your plan. Um, yeah, so he was, was he six or eight minutes back? So he's bound to have lost... He's bound to have he was. Good few I think he was there. eight. He was. Was he six marks off in total or something like that? So yeah. would have probably made the difference. Yeah, yeah. Mm. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Um, mm. Yeah, there was the Harry Hemingway was what third, and then he was second. I think he was fourth, and then second. Wasn't he? Yeah, fourth. Second, I don't second. know. I don't know what happened, but yeah, it was a five? Did you say, Alice? Well, it, it looks like it, but I don't actually mm. know. I haven't spoken. 
To be fair. I wish um, I could do that to me. <laughs> I me. Mean. I don't know how you would ever observe at that track. No. Um there's there was I saw a video of was it Reel's head? And there yeah. must have been at one point there was at least four riders stopped in the section and there was another four ride in the section. Just whatever it was like around them. So how they how you just got all the numbers and all the correct scores is yeah. a minor miracle. Um, I don't know how you would have managed to do that. I do not envy observers at that at all. Mm. Uh, if you were going to be an observer, I suppose you'd want to be an observer at one of the later sections where you've just less riders to worry about. Mm. <laughs> at, at those early sections, it would be a nightmare. Yeah, You, you didn't enter, Matt? No, no, <laughs> no. He's not stupid Bad. enough. Nobody ever. Um, to be honest, I'm still nursing. I'm still nursing my ankle injury. Um, I do want to do it again. Definitely want to do it again because I did it in 2016. Um, but it's like I say, this time last year, I was sat in a hospital bed watching it live on Jitsi. So I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna. Enjoy yeah. not being in hospital and, and just go for a razz round on my bike. So that was that was what I did really, just throwing drinks and sweets at everyone. Um, thank you, Matt. So I was actually stood at the bottom of Reel's head, um, sort of watched the first rider through till I don't know, like a couple, like an hour or so had passed, and it was carnage, absolute carnage. And it was it was really strange because I mean. Obviously, by the time you've seen 100 riders through it, it is mm. a different section. And, bet, and to yeah. be honest, I think, if anything, it got worse. And I think, like like I say, we watched, I think when I was there, first rider through that section was number 12, Lad on a Mont. Um, and he absolutely minced it. Just rattled his way up it, like feet up, couldn't mm. believe it. Everyone was like, fair play, go on, son. And, and then, like, lads that, like, you know and... And like you think, oh yeah, he's gonna flatten this, and they're just like dragging the bike up it, and it. Mm. And I think that's the weirdest thing about the Scott, like the, the way like you can be a really really good rider, and come away with a DNF or or just not. Do you know what I mean? Like it's yeah, it's one of them events. You just I think as a trials rider, it's not necessarily in your brain that right. I'm gonna go fast. I'm gonna yeah. I need to ride fast, and then everything that you know and like is ingrained in your brain just leaves your body and you just forget mm. how to do anything don't you but um so, such a frantic event so well. like it, it's just chaos you you almost like don't think you leave the start field and you just how hard do you have time to think until you're back there it's it's weird trying to do sections as well as then like you're racing and it, yeah yeah such a hard balance it's a great yeah. event though it's it's a spectacle. Yeah. And for anyone that has never been, yeah, get yourself there. Don't like I say if if you obviously don't have a crack if you don't want to have a crack. But I mean, certainly, even if you've got no interest in trials or whatever, going up and watching that trial is just something else. It really is. Mm. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it has an atmosphere kind of all on its own. I mean, Scotland has an atmosphere. I'm sure lots yeah. of other, like the lakes and all, I'm sure they all have mm. their own little atmosphere, but the shop has something, I don't know, it's hard to describe, it's something totally different. You can almost like, it's like tension in the air, isn't it? You can almost feel it, it's weird. Yeah. It's just everyone's excited. I just, I don't know, like the the vibes that I, I get at like the bottom of a section mm. there, everyone's just like, oh, who's next? Who's next? And it's mm. just, yeah, I, it's like I say, it's just like nothing else. Um I think to ride it, you've got to be some boy, um, because it's a poor girl. As someone that, as someone that, yeah, some boy or some girl, yeah, it's, I, yeah, it, it's a big thing, and I think it's a lot serious. of people underestimate. I think a big, a lot of people underestimate it, and I think it's a, to anyone that can get round in or out of time, that is a fair achievement. So mm. well done to anyone that. Oh, it is. Yeah. Does it? Do you know what I mean? It's. Yeah. Uh, fair play and I think that would be the more gotten thing but wouldn't it if you got round and you were out of time I think if you, <laughs> like I think the first time I tried it was 2003 and I got stopped at it was somewhere after the fifth petrol check or something I got stopped oh, I so said, fairly, fairly close to the end then really. yeah well still had another 
petrols. Two tanks, still had two tanks of fuel to do, so that's enough. Mm. Um, mm. I can't remember. It was somewhere after Bridge End. I think we were going round. Yeah, clockwise. I think it went clockwise that year. Um, so I'd done like Grouse Moor and yeah, mm. then, like in the Bridge End, and and I got stopped somewhere over the hill after that. I can't remember where it was, but yeah, but I. I <laughs> If I saw that guy now that stopped me, I'd shake him by the hand. I wasn't looking <laughs> in the day, but actually he saved me a whole world of pain. Uh, what's the hands like? Mine mine actually weren't bad for once. Not too bad. Like yeah, that looks one. Right. But yeah, it's, uh, she's healing up nicely. What, mm. is it like just there? I've had one on here. All right. And then I had one on my thumb, but... They're, they're not too bad now. Yeah, they look all right. All right. Fair play. Right. Don't mind if I... Yeah, no, mine. Well, I'm mine's happy days. <laughs> what are all the fusses about? Yeah. Um, right. Um, that's pretty much all we're going to talk about on this one. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe because that would be really, really good. If we can get some more subscribers, that would be terrific. Um the British Championship view, uh, um, the little highlight videos that I've done from the British Championships have got like almost 70,000 views. So if every one of those people had subscribed, that would have been amazing. But unfortunately... Oh, really? Yeah, I know. Incredible, isn't it? Wow. You're basically like an influencer now. Yeah, you're famous now. Well, yeah, but if people subscribed, possibly. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> like only about less than 700 people have subscribed so yeah we have a bit of a way to go um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna like remortgage the house off the back of it or anything um, <laughs> be nice but anyway right um, thanks for watching um, click that subscribe button and um, we'll we'll see you in the next episode thanks to Alice as well for coming along uh, I've pointed I, I keep telling myself not to point <laughs> <laughs> I always get it wrong um, so thanks to Alice for, for coming along and um, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll get her on a few more as well because it's really good to hear from uh, a female perspective brilliant thanks, thanks guys yeah cheers <laughs>